She responds to Mark Day. Mark Day's top five things that you don't know about me. If you can't do that, don't fuck with me. Um, number one. I don't have a spleen. When I was little, I got into a bicycle accident. And, uh, I hurt myself. So thank you for accidents. Went to the hospital, had surgery, had this nifty little scar on my stomach that uh, I've had the whole time. Just never really knew it was anything. This year, I visited my parents, and they say, hey, by the way, you have no spleen. Most people have spleens, I don't have a spleen. In case you're all wondering, spleens, you don't need them. Lilu runs my life. This is Lilu saying, I want to eat. My cat. Cool cat. Good cat. Pussy cat. That's my source of happiness. My first cat was named Sugar. I was very young. We would let her go out and play in the neighborhood. Sugar went missing and she didn't come back for a couple days. I was very upset. My parents, of course, were like, oh no, she'll come back, she'll be alright, she's alright. Never came back. A couple days later, we got a new cat that looked just like my other cat. And I thought it was Sugar, but it wasn't. My parents just uh, got another cat and named it Sugar. I think. Maybe, maybe we did get another cat that just looked like uh, Sugar and named it Sugar. I don't remember, see? I'm a dancer. Most people don't know that I am a dancer. I dance. Could be another fun fact. I'm a dancer. Spleen, check. Dancer, check. Don't ever move to Florida. Ever, ever, ever. I'm now in Chicago. A lot fucking happier than I was ever in Florida, but of course that's not hard. Florida pretty much blows ass. Florida sucks. Ah! My philosophy on cold. No matter how hot you are, you can't do anything about it. But, if you're cold, you just put on more and more clothes. Then you're not cold. If you're hot, you can be naked. And in a pool that moves in on wheels. And still be fucking cold. They're hot. Screwed that one up. Let's go back. How pretty is this? Florida? No. Here? Yeah. Walking around videotaping. How to be resourceful when you're hungry. Or how to be... How to eat when you're, you're being resourceful and hungry. I don't fucking know. Okay. What you need. A bowl. Your standard variety uh, ramen noodles. Something with spice, flavor. We have Mexican cheese. For some reason, I can't ever seem to find spoons in my fucking apartment, so we have a gargantuanly sized spoon. It's just way too big. The kitchen is way too far away, and you don't want to walk all the way out there and make ramen noodles. So what do you do? Very simple. First, um, you crush up the ramen noodles you have. Right. Feels pretty crushy. Mix. Mixed. Still a bit more. Okay, now mix. Add your Mexican cheese from a previous podcast. Remember, more cheese better because it adds a taste other than noodles. This is optional, but since I have been having it around. I think I put too much hot sauce, but, uh, sue me. Gargantuan, stupid fucking spoon. Mix. Look, yummy and tasty. Kind of like, uh, cat vomit and Chinese food. Not bad, actually. Thank you, Mark Day. Um, kudos. 
That's very as for mock day support and mock day love. Vote this video. That's not really Scottish, is it? Hmm. A splotty video. That's not Scottish either. That's kind of like Beatles. Um. That's fucking shite. That's train spotting. I just love to do train spotting and say fuck, fucking shite. Anyway, Mark Day, you rule. Thanks for the list, and here's my response to you.